We are coming now to our next segment, which is the leading in into the Infineon Hackathon. EIT Manufacturing has the pleasure and the honor to support this year's Infineon Hackathon. But before we start getting with the Hackathon per se, I have with me today Stefan Rohringer. He is the head of the Development Center of Infineon Technologies Austria in Graz since 1999 and the deputy CTO of Infineon Technologies Austria since October 2018. Welcome, Stefan. Thanks a lot for the kind invitation and introduction. Uh, I try to stay in time. Industry is used to that. Uh, we have to deliver. Um, yeah, how can we collaborate? Um, there's this typical notion of different worlds. The big fish around for quite a while, maybe big, maybe slow, lots of money, maybe a bit bureaucratic, um, some endurance. I mean, otherwise you aren't there so long. Lots of market access, very focused in what he's doing. So that's the one world, more the, the big ones, the corporates. How about the startups, these many small fishes around us? Um, quick, agile, lots of new ideas, trying this, trying that, um, ready to learn the future? Question mark, exclamation mark. Lots of fun there, high engagement, lots of, of, of power and, and, and doing this, going left and right. The risk or the hope of being eaten up by one of the big ones. So taking that picture as an entry point, uh, I want to start with one, one message. Uh, we as Infineon, we know that we don't know everything. We know a lot, but we don't know everything. So we have to get involved with the others, with partners to do that, to reach our goals. And both partners have to try to find something common uh, to collaborate the best way. And we have great examples just for graphs, and that's only one part of Infineon. We have a great example from, uh, from uh, Coinfinity. We're doing great stuff with blockchain. We have nice products and, and applications with 3D Imager, just to name a few. I would like to start with a quote from Reinhard Bloss, our CEO. Uh, when you bring two areas of competences together, you may create much more than when you are going alone. And that is basically part of our DNA to drive innovation through partnerships. Uh, for those who might not know what, what this Infineon uh, is, what, what is this company which is now around? Uh, we are a leading company uh, in the semiconductor arena, number 10 worldwide, roughly 40, 70,000 employees by the end of September last year, our fiscal year, close to 8,000 R&D people. 8,000, almost 8,000 engineers thinking about new stuff all day long. We lead in the, array, in, the, in the arena of automotive or power semiconductor, energy efficiency, lots of sensors we are doing. Uh, we connect the world in a secure way. We ensure that the data is not uh, jeopardized. Wireless uh, combos are part of our portfolio and dedicated memories to store the data uh, which is needed. Altogether, 8.6 billion revenue in the last fiscal year. Um, what are all these? possibilities. Uh, we as Infineon, we are the link between the real and the digital world. So the, the real world is kind of, of the left part here, whether it's automotive or communication, any kind of IT, which is in the house, which is in the industry, any kind of power device, up to windmills. So all kinds of applications out there in the world. And we then linked this to the digital world. And we heard in the introductory, uh, the power of AI. Yes, the power of AI is great, but AI without data is just nothing. And we, we link it here. We have the sensors uh, to gain all this data. We have the compute possibilities with microcontrollers and the dedicated memories to store and to process the data. In the end, we have the possibility to do something, to act in the real world again. That's the power semiconductors. Software is in here and very, very, very important security because, as we heard, data, the oil of the new century, you must ensure uh, the handling is done correctly and only if you're entitled to do so. And with the connectivity, we are able to move the data which is, per, uh, which is gained here over to the digital world and the actions back to reality. So that's, that's in a nutshell uh, what these 8,000 engineers are doing. Um, and how do we reach out to young companies. Yeah, one possibility is, of course, hackathons. The hackathons, which is ahead of us, 
This is a picture of a hackathon from November 2019 in Villach. Some of the presentations done in the end where teams try to do something in 24 hours with products and, and uh, services from Infineon. We have three levels, so to say, how you start to interact uh, with Infineon, how we open up to, to young companies. So starting to the left, so the cooperation is not very mature. It's a young one. Business relation is not clear, maybe. So it's this Infineon for makers. It's getting together, have some fun with the products, uh, the solutions which we offer uh, to see what is possible, uh, to generate ideas uh, and, and quote, in a positive sense, play around with Infineon products. The next level then would be uh, the startup corporation where we have this innovator as a hookup. Uh, here is already more on, uh, there is, a, there is a, an idea, there's something to work on, there is maybe some demonstrator already around um, and ideas start to come up what the business could be. And the third step is to be partner in our ecosystem. Here we have three levels. Uh, so you start as associated partner, preferred partner, or premium partner, gaining more and more access to information, um, to data, maybe to some joint development, different levels of, of uh, partnership. And of course, the business is already quite closer uh, to the market and the cooperation is more mature. So it's a way uh, you go through. Why are we doing this as Infineon? Why, why do we say that that's a good idea? Uh, as Infineon, we think we can and we are a really good partner for startups. So that's a blunt statement, but we talk to those startup companies we work with already and we got it as a feedback. So first of all, a startup needs for sure a great idea. But in addition, you need capital, you need coaching, and if you really want to do business, you need business partners. So the typical um, venture capital, they can, of course, provide the capital. They are really great in coaching, but business partners, they are not really the business partners. They are more on the left side. We as Infineon, we can offer all what we as an established player in the semiconductor market can offer and what we have, what we have access to. So if you talk to startups that tell us uh, out of this collaboration with us, uh, they get access to expertise from our Infineon colleagues. They are in depth in our products. Uh, we have a lot of know-how, how to bring these products, these technologies into the market, how to access the market, what's the right time. Uh, we have all the access to our semiconductor facilities and, and services we have at hand. Second, Infineon, number one worldwide, we are a recognized uh, player of innovation and quality. So going together with Infineon to potential customers, you benefit from the reputation we as Infineon uh, gained and nurtured over the years. And that's a really big difference. You all know networking and, and having networking partners is essential. But going together with Infineon, you get access to that. And of course, we have a huge partner and, and customer network up to the customers directly to distribution channels and all of that we can bring together so that you can talk to the one stakeholder to the one potential customer uh, that might be the right one to check whether you need your idea uh, really plays out or not so this is more on on, on a high level um, and if you say how, how can i partner with with infineon what could i do together with infineon in general we have two possible sides. The one side is the supply side. So the Infineon as a company itself is the customer when you are doing something for us. The other one is the business side. Let me start with the supply side. Uh, startups can be very, very interesting as partner here to help us as Infineon to become better in our own operations. That can be in the production itself, that can be in R&D. How are we doing R&D? Um, that can be with all the data we have. We generate something like 11 petabyte a day worldwide in our Infineon sites. So in, in this huge amount of data, there's a lot of value in. Startups can help here a lot to gain value from that uh, big set of data or to gain value in how we're doing our production. So the benefit here for Infineon is the midterm cost saving on our own side. The right side is the business side uh, where we find 
possibilities to cooperate. Your idea, our products, our solutions being used in a different way, maybe than, than we thought of. Um, the one way could be the startup is a partner for our own go-to-market approach. So we have the hardware and some software with the hardware, and you as a startup act as partner in the software, software ecosystems uh, in order to help to place Infineon products at our customers, be new or existing customers, in a better way, in a more convincing way, to showcase uh, and to help the partners then uh, to make their business. Second possibility, you as startup are the direct customer to us. So you take material, you take chips from Infineon and do something with that. It could be demonstrators for new applications in fields we are not in maybe. Uh, we are not covering all possible applications, many, but not all. And by that, uh, you as a startup take the hardware we have and do it use it in a different way, you use it in a different application, in a different branch of industry uh, we are not in. So we can, together with you, enter new customer and new markets, uh, which we are not serving up to now. In addition, bottom line here, we have another very interesting uh, feedback loop open by that. You, by that, play back to us some interesting uh, views on our products, how they can be used, how the next product, the next version, next uh, generation could look like. And that's of big benefit uh, to Infineon, and therefore it's interesting for us to, to partner with startups. Um, this is still a bit general, um, and what are these many possibilities where hardware can be used? So very busy slide, don't try to read everything, just have a look at the red ones. So there are hardware solutions, which are this box, there are solutions, hardware plus software, um, all of these are products, uh, solutions uh, we are offering. Of course, there's technology itself uh, and the productivity, but I would like now to focus on the product side over here to the left. And the red ones, uh, three examples, uh, which will be part of the hackathon starting in half an hour from now. It's about variables and health tech um, ideas. Highly welcome how to use it differently. Uh, it's using microphones and adopting with additional algorithms on the audio side to generate solutions uh, which are new, or the other one to use 3D data from our imager and to do something with the picture, uh, the videos which can be provided here, plus in addition to circuit design itself. So a wide range of possible ways uh, to cooperate with us. If you say now, yeah, great, uh, but how should that work? Um, I have two examples with me uh, from, the uh, from the recent past, yeah. how it worked. So for one the side, there is Legotech, a startup from Austria, uh, located in Upper Austria in Linz, uh, using technology uh, that has a strong uh, footprint in Graz. Um, and their idea was to turn data into reliable facts. We heard before data, the new oil of the, of the industry. Um, but if you have one partner here and another one over here, and the partner B wants to do something with the data from partner A, we are all very much um, interested in that the data either cannot be changed without notice, that only those partners have access to the data who should, and that nobody is, is able to delete the data if it's so, uh, so valuable. So Tribotech came up with a solution uh, to ensure that data can be provided and consumed in a trustworthy way, and by that enabling all these great applications up here. It's a kind of, of baseline work, which is absolutely necessary to ensure a successful implementation uh, of any kind of application later on. And Tribotech, they started with a hackathon, they went then to the Innovaver, and they are now already of the, of the level uh, preferred partner. Another example is a startup called Kersis from Israel. Um, they took our radar chip here, and what you see here is not the chip, but the antenna array. And they take the radar chip, uh, place it in a car, different positions are possible, and they are now able to use the radar signal to detect heart rate, variation of the heart rate, and breath rate. So three vital parameters which can help you uh, with the right algorithms, which are done by Kersis, uh, to detect uh, 
health or health troubles of the persons in here and mainly the driver. So if the driver is getting into uh, health problems, it's really good to know that in order to safeguard the ongoing traffic. And again, Kiasu started by a hackathon, got access to our experts and now at the level of associated partner. So there is a way to evolve from first contact to, to a partner level. The InnoWafer I mentioned already is our uh, startup uh, landing page, so to say. Uh, you find all the necessary information here about uh, the program itself, how you can apply, how you could find a mentor inside the company who helps you then with your technical questions. And first of all, uh, how to get into contact. Uh, otherwise, you would be maybe a bit lost uh, among these more than 40,000 people. That's well in place. And, and if we talk to the startups who, who went through that way, it works quite well. The other touch points, uh, maybe for a first look into Infineon, whether there's something interesting, there's this virtual world like the Innovator, uh, the Connect Day, or we have 30 minutes with tech experts, which are streaming events where experts really give an insight in 30 minutes, a very deep insight in different technologies of Infineon. Uh, we have hubs in Vienna, we have one in Singapore, we have one in Silicon Valley, where I can hook up hackathons, industry meet makers uh, like today. Last but not least, our ecosystem with our distributors, uh, where you can get lots of information uh, as an entry point, or clusters in Austria uh, who help to look uh, what's going on. And maybe not uh, the first choice for all typical startups, but there is this concept of funded R&D projects on the Austrian level with the FFG or on the European level. Uh, and funded projects are a great way to get into contact with companies and to learn from each other. Um, there's one small caveat I would like to share with you. Uh, you might have read in the newspaper, so it was almost inevitable, inevitable to, to come uh, to pass by. Uh, Auto industry and others are lacking semiconductor components uh, with a oh, lot of trouble for the supply chain. I'm here located at the hub in It's just a subset of the 10 most important machinery we have in our production sites. Um, and the chip, um, which is produced on this wafer, which looks like a pizza, is moving through the fab. And it's not only that he is visiting one of these machines once uh, and that's it. No, the wafer is moving back and forth. It's an iterative process. And in the end, you get a quite uh, messy uh, track, if you want to say. Uh, and in numbers, roughly 15, 1600 manufacturing units in a fab, up to 12, 1200 production steps a wafer has to undergo. We move the wafer through the fabs, 800,000 wafer movements per day. One of these wafers, in the end, uh, covered up to 15 kilometers in the fab which in the result is six to 16 weeks to produce a piece of silicon. So it's not that you can call today and say, I would like a different one tomorrow, simply not possible. Although we run uh, 365 days a year. That please keep in mind. And having said that, I, I guess you can agree, it's a bit complex what we are doing here. So the production itself is a challenging uh, of its own. And therefore we reach out to startups. And there is a different challenge, a partner challenge ongoing with Linda. So even that we don't do alone um, to predict uh, the lead time in silicon wafer production, how these uh, boxes up here with the 002 up here moves through the fab in the optimal way so that we don't run into bottlenecks, that we don't run into uh, waiting times. And how can this be done automatically, accurately, and fast using this um, huge amount of historical data. So this challenge is a different challenge. It's more on the on the on the big data um, startups. So it's on the supply side. So if this is interesting to you, have a look at that uh, shortcut linda.com. Maybe that's that's of interest to you. Coming to an end, I'd like to stay in time. Um, I have six, six takeaways for you. Uh, please keep in mind innovation is in Infineon's DNA for sure. We rely on new products, on new great ideas. If we work together, we need the contributions from both sides. We know that we don't know everything. We have to collaborate. If we collaborate, we have to approach the other side. We have to try to understand the counterpart. It holds for us, the big fish, to understand 
the quick, fast, and agile smaller ones, but please, the same holds for the smaller fishes. Uh, you have to understand the big one in order to cooperate, in order to have a partnership. There are numerous possibilities for products and for services out there with our uh, offerings, for sure more than we think of, for sure more uh, ideas we, we don't have in our minds. And sorry to say, all the big stuff about AI and big data, name it, all of this won't work without hardware. Not only the hardware, the algorithms is running on. Uh, I guess that's clear, uh, but we wouldn't have the data uh, available for all these big data and AI applications without hardware. And Infineon is a hardware provider. So please keep these things in mind. And for most of all, have a lot of fun in the hackathon lying ahead of you. And I wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank, thank you. I'm happy to answer some questions. Thank possible. you so much, Stefan. Um, yeah, there, there's one question, and, and, and that is um, what can startups expect and why should they cooperate with Infineon technologies per se? Okay. Um, I think it depends a bit on, on, on the general idea of the startup. As I said, we are providing hardware if we are on the, on the product side. So the startup should be uh, willing to have some thoughts about what hardware is. Um, and what we can provide is insights. Um, of course, you would find uh, the data sheets uh, on our web page, or you would get some data sheets from a distributor. Uh, but if you have an idea that resonates with us, you can talk directly to our experts. And not only to the experts on the product of today, but we could exchange then if it, if it fits on, on the roadmap. I mean, there's the one thing is the product which is in the market. The other thing is the product which we have in development. The third thing is the product we don't have in development, but on the roadmap for the future. So giving this insight and, and, and sharing this information, uh, I think is of big value because it gives you some very interesting uh, ideas where a thing could develop to. What could be possible in two years from now? And if you want to provide a new product, you better think of that what is ahead in two years and not what was done five years ago. Hello, Raphael, can you hear me? I think is, is a big benefit, for example. Yep. Excellent. Besides access to early, map, early samples, you might get some products to, to play around which are not already released, but you could do it, you could try it out, you could give feedback to us um, and then start a fruitful uh, dialogue. Excellent. So it, it seems that you keep the startups very close, very engaged, uh, very involved uh, with your future topics. Where, future topics, where do you see Infineon Technologies and their, their startup activities in five years from now? In five years from now, first of all, I would like to have it as an absolutely normal pattern of cooperation. I would like to see one, two startups who went to the next level of, of uh, company size, so to say. Um, I would like to see a good history, a good track record of startups making it to this point of preferred partner uh, at, at the uh, upper right corner of the one picture I had. Um, and that the startup community in general is an established innovation partner for Infineon, and Infineon is a valuable partner for startups. That, that's the place where I want to see Infineon in five years. Okay, cool. Stefan, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for leading in into the Infineon Hackathon. EIT Manufacturing is very proud that you guys teamed up with us, and uh, we are so happy to be able to support you with that.